For this video, I will be demonstrating the stomach's role in the process of digestion, as well as what it takes to get there. So, for this demonstration, you will need the following materials. Approximately one cup of water, one Ziploc bag, or any sealable transparent bag of your choosing, and two graham crackers. This one broke, so that's okay. Now, as you may notice, I will wet this graham cracker. The graham cracker represents carbohydrates. Now, why is it already wet? This is because in order to get to the stomach, it must enter the oral cavity and endure its processes. This includes chemical digestion, as the mouth primarily produces amylase, an enzyme that breaks down sugars and carbohydrates. The mouth also produces amounts of lipase from the lingual glands. The reason why it is wet is because the enzymes have gotten it wet. The next process it must go through is mechanical digestion as the teeth crush down the food into smaller pieces. I will represent by using my hands to crush the smaller pieces which have increased surface area so that it may digest more efficiently. Next, the tongue propels the food backwards into the esophagus, and the esophagus then propels the bolus down to the stomach. These wrinkles in the Ziploc bag represent the rugae of the stomach, which is on the inner part of it. The purpose of the rugae in the stomach is to allow for expansion when matter starts to fill up the stomach. The stomach is then closed to prevent acid from venturing up into the esophagus, also known as the esophageal, esophageal sphincter closes to prevent that from happening. And when that does happen, it's usually a disorder known as acid reflux. Now, as I mentioned earlier, if a bag expands or the stomach expands, which the bag represents, the rugae will disappear as they will unfold and create something like this. Now, usually the stomach does not only fill with liquid as people tend to eat solid matter. I'm using a whole piece of graham cracker to represent the food in the stomach as it is easier to view for the audience. The liquid that I am pouring into this bag represents many things for this experiment. It represents the mucus secreted by goblet cells that serve to protect the inner stomach from the acidic environment. It also represents the hydraulic acid, which is produced by the parietal cells to break down the food content with chemical digestion, as well as killing foreign bacteria that could be harmful to the stomach. It lastly represents enzymes such as amylase, lipase, and pepsin. The hormone gastrin is what releases the pepsinogen, which is then converted to pepsin by the hydrochloric acid in the stomach, and gastrin itself is produced by the enteroendocrine cells. For mechanical digestion, I will begin to crush the contents of the bag, which will represent the smooth muscle of the stomach, churning the food with the enzymes and stomach acid, which helps digestion. And this process can take hours. However, I will do it fairly quickly compared to that. Once the bolus is ready to continue on, the pyloric sphincter at the bottom of the stomach connecting to the small intestine then opens so that I can continue its journey down through the digestive system.